How many times have you looked in your closet, a closet filled with clothes, and been like, I have nothing to wear? <gasps> well, today's video <laughs> is just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Today's video, like the title says, is all about outfits and basically building outfits. I don't know about you guys, but maybe it's because we are all locked indoors for a couple of months this year, but putting together cute outfits that are also chic and comfortable, sometimes is a chore. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my tips, my tricks for putting together great outfits for fall and winter plus outfit ideas so every time you step out that door you look chic you're comfortable and you feel fabulous if you're new here my name is chi chi and on this channel we cover fashion beauty and lifestyle so if that's the kind of stuff you're into you are in the right place i hope you join the family and without further ado let's get into this video outfits with a focal point. Now, if you keep on watching, I'm going to share with you a hack that will revolutionize, okay, putting together outfits. So make sure you stay tuned. For this first look, the focal point is going to be combat boots. And if you saw my Nordstrom haul, I already shared these boots with you guys. These boots come in three other colors. They're buttery soft and super comfortable. Like, <laughs> I saw this uh, TikTok of a girl getting ready to go to work after um, lockdown and she put on a pair of heels and almost fell down. So if you happen to be in that boat and comfy is the new chic for you for 2020, then you definitely need a pair of combat boots. Not only are they comfortable, but they're totally on trend for this season. I have a whole dedicated video on fall and winter trends. So make sure you check those out as well when you finish this video. Now, when going with a piece like this that's very chunky, it's really important that you pay attention to your silhouette. I decided to start off the base of this outfit with a pair of leggings um, and then build out from there. So I paired my leggings with a tank top. I love putting together looks that are layerable, if that's a word, because if it gets hot, I can take things off and if it gets cold, I can add things on. So on top of this tank top, I threw on my oversized plaid shirt. I love these oversized plaid shirts. If you can't get your hand on a pair, on an affordable shacket, honestly, just size up a bunch of times in a plaid shirt and voila, you get the same look. Now to finish things off, I threw on a beanie because again, I love, using hats as a third piece. They just add that finishing touch to an outfit. And of course I threw on a, my favorite crossbody bag. So this is a super easy outfit that honestly I have replicated in different ways. So I swapped out my plaid shirt one time and I threw on a teddy jacket. So I have been able to sort of replicate this outfit a bunch of different ways. So let me know in the comments what you think about this look. Would you change anything? Would you swap something out? I would love to hear your thoughts. Honestly, <laughs> leggings, in my opinion, are the new pants of 2020 because I don't want to wear pants anymore. Like, <laughs> And this is a perfect outfit for leggings. So for this next outfit, it's all about the cohorts. Oh my gosh. Like, I feel like cohorts are the biggest outfit hacks. This is not the this is not the hack that I said I was going to share with you, but I do think the cohorts are the biggest outfit hacks. I feel like they are much they add a little bit more interest than like let's say a dress or a jumpsuit, but and they're also super versatile because you can mix and match them with other pieces. So if you're not a stranger to this channel, you will remember this two piece set. Um, I've, I think I featured it in my Walmart haul and I also have styled it on my Instagram. I'm actually, I really need to get the black version of this outfit because it's so versatile, right? So for this look for shoes, I opted for a pair of 
Converse's. And then I just threw on a biker jacket. This is such an easy outfit that I could, I would wear, you know, running errands on the weekends, like on Saturday. And it's something that you can easily take from day to night. Because if you have like an evening outfit, you could easily just swap out your sneakers for a pair of boots and instantly it shakes up the look. I would wear this to church. Like my church is super casual. So I know I could easily wear this to church. And if you work in a business casual environment, you could totally wear this now. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like everyone now who's like gone back to work, like I feel like work wear has completely changed. Unless you, you know, work at a firm or somewhere that they're really specific, they're really picky about attire. But I feel like everybody's style in 2020 has just gotten so much more casual and so much more laid back. So let me know what your thoughts are about this look. What do you think about this cord set? How many cord sets have you purchased? I just got the cutest cord set from Target. That's gonna be in a different haul for you guys, but just loungewear sets, cord sets are the business. Okay, they are the bees knees. Get you a couple. And this one was super affordable. <laughs> this next look is all about the cardigan and all the ways you can wear it. I feel like cardigans are the hero of quarantine, of lockdown. Or <laughs> let me change that. I feel like cardigans are the heroes, okay, <laughs> of Zoom calls, right? You could have on the crustiest t-shirt, have your pajamas still on, just throw on a cardigan. You instantly look to look put together in a Zoom call. So I started off with the cardigan and I decided that I wanted to pair this look with a tank. One of my favorite combos right now is the juxtaposition of like a silky tank with a cardigan, the fuzziness of a cardigan. I love this look. I paired with a pair of jeans, some boots. This is a look that I would wear for like a Friday night out with friends. I would totally also wear this look to church. And then to finish the look off, I went on with my brand new fedora that I'm obsessed with. I don't know if I've talked about this fedora yet, but I did a whole unboxing on Instagram. I also posted the unboxing kind of and review on my LTK. So, it's just a must have and it's big head friendly. Sis, if you struggle with finding hats that fit your head, this hat will fit your head. So I'll put all the details for it in the description for you down below. This is an easy outfit that looks like you put a lot of thought but you really didn't. Another thing I like to pair my cardigans with is with graphic tees. I love the look of like the casualness of a graphic tee and then the coziness and even smartness, I dare say, of a cardigan. I love that look. I'd also pair it with jeans as well. And some sneakers or some boots, depending on like what vibe you are going for. I always get questions about these jeans. So of course there's gonna be a link to these jeans for you. My sizing details, all of that good stuff in the description box down below. And then the next look is all about these over the knee Boots. Actually, I would say it's the combo of the over knee boots and these like suspender stockings. Now, before y'all come for me, I've had these stockings for over two years. I'm on the taller side, so I'm 5'7", and I find that a lot of times over the knee boots don't come up as high up my leg as I would like. Um, and so I love pairing these suspender um, stockings with these over the knee boots because it gives me that additional height and coverage that I'm looking for. So for me, when I style over the knee boots, I really want them to be the focus of the look. And so I like to pair it with pieces that allow it to do that. So typically I will pair it with shorts, mini skirts, short dresses, etc., etc. In this case, I decided to pair it with my blazer <laughs> from the Nordstrom haul. As you guys can see, it's what well, that's one thing I love about double breasted blazers is the fact that you can actually um, button them up and turn them into a dress. So I just layered on like a mesh shirt underneath so I wasn't flashing every, anyone up top. And then I buttoned up the dress. Absolutely love this look. And of course, to finish off the look, I threw on a Baker Boy hat. I love 
um, pairing my Baker Boy hats with like structured and menswear style pieces. I feel like it just elevates it and just adds a little bit of interest to the look. So let me know your thoughts on this look. Would you wear this look? Um, would you change anything with this look? What would you add to this look? Would you subtract to this look? I would love to know what you think. So really quickly, let's take care of some housekeeping. My height, my measurement, my weight, links to items featured in this video will be in the description box for your pleasure. You need to try this look for yourself because this was my first time trying this brand and I'm mad none of y'all told me about it. Bonus, so bonus, 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 right? I promised you guys I would share with you the hack that would revolutionize putting together outfits. And that is to create outfit templates. Yes, 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 yes. If you're a reader of my blog, you know that I shared this tip with you guys years ago. When I had the, when I had the epiphany <laughs> or when I learned about creating outfit templates, it literally changed everything. So what I would do at the beginning of the season is I would look in my closet, look at what I have, look at what trends are coming in, look at what trends I want to participate in, and then I would kind of merge the two. So I would say, okay, this season is all about combat boots, right? So my outfit template for this season would be my combat boots, my leggings, and something oversized up top, right? I can do a jacket, I can do a plaid shirt, I can just do a chunky sweater, I could even do like a sweatshirt dress. This template works because it really pays attention to the proportions since the boots are super chunky on the bottom. Pairing it with something that elongates your leg and like Make sure like sleek and longer works, which is why I love pairing it with leggings, but you could also pair it with tights and a short dress. Um, so this is one outfit template. I could do any color cardigan, any color lace top, pair it with slacks, pair it with jeans, um, you name it and it always works, right? Basically, as long as I stick to my outfit template, I am guaranteed that my outfit's gonna look great. And let me tell you, there's just something about feeling confident when you step out of the door. It really affects how you view the world, how you interact with other people, even how other people perceive you. Um, I highly recommend taking pictures of these outfit templates and then saving them and even shopping based on these templates. Hopefully you found these tips helpful and useful. If you're looking to level up, update, or upgrade your style, all you have to do is subscribe now. While you're there, smash that like button so that I know to make more videos just like this. Drop a comment, let me know which look was your favorite, and if you have any tips and tricks for getting dressed, hacks, okay, for building outfits, definitely drop it in the comments below. I know it will be of benefit. If you have any questions about any of the items that I shared in this video or just styling in general, definitely leave a comment as well. Instagram because when I'm not here I'm over there if you enjoy this video don't go anywhere I'm sure you will like this one and this one don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed